Alrighty beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a get ready with me and just chit chat and um Yeah, you girl change your hair color. It's it's cute. It's cute. It's kind of fading already But you know it is what it is Your girl needs to change it anyways, but I, I mean I like it. I I like it. I don't love it I like it. I like it better than what I had the last time, but I don't love it but by any means, let's get to this video! So today, we're just going to be doing a simple makeup. I have less than an hour to get ready. So that definitely puts pressure onto my skin. And my nail is like janky AF. So we're going to start off with applying moisturizer to your skin. Especially during this time of weather. It's kind of chilly. It's kind of, you know, dry. Um... Because of that, your skin either is dry or needs moisturizer or just needs a boost of that. I have combo skin, so it's like oily to dry. It's dry in the morning and oily as we get towards the day. So I'm going to be using today the Olay Regenerous. This is a deep hydration regenerating cream. So all you do is you push it up. You pump it up like that and some of the product will come out. Now, keep in mind that you always want to be cautious and have clean hands when scooping the item up. If not, you can always do it with a spatula or a brush. So once we have that on, we are going to apply that to our face. Now, again, you just want to use a small amount, just enough to go around. You don't want to extra out lather it on your skin. Especially do apply it where you have the most dryness because we don't want that to be popping out in our makeup. And never, ever drag down your skin. Yes, if you're younger than me, then of course you may drag your skin. You still have enough collagen to like boost it up. But if you are on your 20s, you don't want to be dragging your skin. You want to be either doing a patting motion or in a light sweeping motion. But never just drag down your skin. Alrighty, beauty. So once we have done that, we're going to go on with a primer or mattifier, whatever you have, to minimize your pores. I have really large pores, so I actually like going into with the Timeless. This one, where are you? This is my holy grail, but I'm going all out of it, so I kind of like need to buy a new one. But this is the whole, like this is an amazing product. I have not found one that could beat it so far. So, um, yeah, we're going to apply this all over our pores. Alrighty, so once we have that going on, we have a matter surface onto our skin. We're going to move on with our foundation. We're going to go with something light and full coverage today because um, I got a little bit of acne picking up. Let's go with this one. We're going to go with the CoverGirl healthy elixir and we're going to just apply this on our beauty blender or on your finger whichever works best for you and i'm just going to dab a little bit oh i think this one might be too dark you just want to just just apply it a bit everywhere it looks like it's a little bit too dark it's slightly dark all right i'm going to go in with my other cover girl this is a matte one this is like the new version that came out this one is their True Blend Matte Made. We're going to go in there just to even out a bit the tone. Because we don't want to look off vice. And then just brighten up a bit. Just a bit. Alrighty now, so we're going to go ahead with our Wet Beauty Blender and we're just going to blend everything away. Oh boy, we're going to set this with some Aerospong because this is actually one of the best ones so far that I've liked other than the Laura Mercier, which is a bit pricey. I need to get my hands on that um MAC one from Je um, Patrick Star. Everyone says that is a good-ass powder. So because it is winter and I do have dry skin, I don't actually currently bake complete completely. I just grab my dry, um, this is a real technique one, and I just do the patting motion for it. So I know that it's pressed into my skin and it won't make me super oily, but it would have me dry enough or matte enough, you know, so I won't be like oily. 
during the day and this just sets my foundation i leave this on for like literally like maybe 10 20 30 seconds and i just like brush it off so before i brush it off i actually use bronzer or you know just to contour a bit the cheekbones currently the bronzer i'm using is the celibate from um morphe it's like this it's like a two in one it has like a bronzer and a contour we definitely only use a bronzer i think this is a contour side can't tell but it's most likely the contouring side because it doesn't have a shimmery as the other one does and bronzer usually always has like a shimmer to it all right so now i'm gonna go in whoa 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 so now i'm gonna go in with my brush and we're just gonna dust everything through Alrighty, now once we have that set we're gonna go with our highlighter and today we're feeling a little bit more glamorous so we're gonna go in with our huda beauty and you guys her highlighters are like like damn girl like just go lightly so we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty, and we're going to go in with this one and the one down below. Just a little bit of everything, you know, not as much. Because again, her highlighters are very pigmented, so you always want to go with the light hand. See, that's just me dabbing in once. One and one. That's it. And bam. Now, we're going to work, so we don't need to put that much glow on, and we just don't need to be that extra. What I like to do is I actually like glowing completely up to here. So I kind of already have my cheekbone and my brow bone glowing. So what you do on one side, you must do to the other. Alrighty now, we're looking pretty glowy. Moving on. Now we are going to do some eyeshadow. Let's see, what are we going to be into today? So depending how I am, sometimes I actually do my brows first and then my eyeshadow. But today, I think I'm going to do my eyeshadow first and then my brows. Let's look at what we have to do. We're going to use a modern renaissance palette. You guys, um, this palette is coming out with the soft glamour and the other two that weren't really as popular. And... Literally, they're busting down, like, the price majorly. So each palette is usually, like, 42 bucks. But right now, for, like, Black Friday, Anastasia is having four of their palettes for 90 bucks. That's, like, a freaking great deal. But there's a catch. It's not one of the newest ones that came out. It's most likely, like, the two ones that weren't as, like, the best sellings. The one that was, like, really had lots of pros and cons onto it. And then the Prism one. I don't remember which one's other one. Let me Let me just search it up. Hold up. Oh, y'all need to follow me on Instagram, too, if you guys have an Instagram. I'm at JulesJulieette, if it focuses. Focus. Focus. JulesJulieette. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. But anyways, let's go back to Anastasia one. There you go. So it is their... Prism palette, the subculture, the modern renaissance, and the soft glam. And I really want to get the soft glam. Um, let's you know right there. I really want to get the soft glam. I already have the modern renaissance, and I heard this one's pretty good too. This one was the one that they have like their pros and cons to it. Same thing as this one, a lot of fallout. But I mean, they're having this bundle for 90 bucks. I think that's a freaking great ass deal. But you know, it's only for like Black Friday and your girl's going to be working. So she's not most likely going to get it. But anyways, we're going to be using the palette. And we're going to go into Golden Orchid. Orchard or however you want to pronounce it. We're going to pat this color through. This is going to be our transmission color. And the beauty of going up here is that you don't have to worry about your brow bone anymore. You already got that cover. Once we have that on, clean your brush in one of these beauty things this is actually from J Cat, so it's pretty inexpensive then we're gonna go on with let's go with burnt orange which is one of my favorite ones is like completely almost gone so we're gonna go with burnt orange and we're just gonna tap this color in now some of the colors do have fallout so you are gonna have to tap the access to it but I know my burnt orange and it doesn't have a fallout so now we're gonna go with Rigar with the same brush and we're gonna deepen this orange up all right now once we look like an orange raccoon 
we're gonna add some other colors because this is way too orangey. So now we're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill color and we're gonna go in right over here where it says Power Cut, which is like a nice silvery color going on. We're gonna apply this all over our lid. Alrighty, now, now that we have that beautiful silver on our eyes, we're gonna go in with some color now because we need to add some coloring going down here. We're no longer gonna use it Amazon Remazon, so we're gonna put that away. And we're gonna go, let's stick with some darkness. So we're gonna go in with this baby. Well, actually, we need a smaller brush that's too big. So we're gonna go in with this run right over here. We're gonna go with potion, and then after potion, we're gonna go with the inside job. So let's get some potion in here. It's like a nice military green, you know? All right, now, now that we look kind of like a sad eyes, we're gonna start applying our eyelashes and our eyeliner and do our brows. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, beauty, so I have have my lashes on and then I do also have my lipstick on, but it's a little bit matte. So we're gonna add on this Revlon, Revlon, this Makeup Revolution and this is like lip topper. And you guys, this just brings to life your lips. We're actually gonna add a uh, brightness onto our inner because this is kind of dull. It's a little bit dull, don't you guys think so? We're gonna add a little bit of a teardrop. Definitely this amps up the look. As you guys can see, I didn't end up putting on eyeliner because I didn't want it to look kind of like gloomy. So we're just gonna like kind of buff this up. Alrighty now. So now we're gonna set this all up. We're gonna be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and we're gonna just spray that everywhere. Now we're gonna grab the same beauty blender that we have and we're gonna press, just gently press. Press and pat. And what this is gonna do is gonna finish just giving you that nice glow, but yet mattifying, yet long lasting as well, because we want this to look as natural as we can. So this is basically it for my makeup. And I put my hair up, gotta put my hair up. It's kind of like uneven because I didn't comb my hair, but we're late already. I'll see you beauties in my next video and I hope you guys enjoy this. Bye beauties.